Welcome to Sandra's Bake House. In this video, chocolate cake with super airy cream cheese frosting and rich homemade cherry filling. The thing's delicious, plus will visually impress anyone you serve it to. Firstly, I'll show you one of my favorite cake recipes. Mix eggs, sugar, vanilla and salt in high speed for 5 minutes using a hand mixer. It's important to use room temperature foods for this recipe. Add milk and some vegetable oil. I prefer olive. Just mix together. For dry ingredients, take flour, cocoa powder and baking soda. Sift them into your bowl and again just mix until all flour is incorporated up to one minute. Something you might not expect is boiling water, which will help make cake more porous and fluffy. Finally, vinegar. I love this recipe for being so quick, it shouldn't take longer than 10 minutes before you put the cake in the oven, provided you took eggs and milk from the fridge about an hour prior. It's a bottomless cake pan set on 6 inches with uh, some tin foil. Use cooking spray if you'd like, not too necessary. Double the recipe for this cake if you have two identical pans, I make them one by one in the same pan. Bake at 320 Fahrenheit or 160 Celsius for 45 to 50 minutes on medium shelf. Do not over bake, check in 40 minutes. To make amazing cherry filling, I prefer to use sour cherries. They are not easy to find in some countries. I get mine in a European market. Some grocery stores sell them canned. Frozen or fresh will do. Add white sugar and bring to a boil on medium-high heat. Boil for a couple of minutes and meanwhile mix cornstarch with uh, some cold water. Boil for another minute or so. It will thicken and get shinier. Chill to room temperature or refrigerate if you're not using it right away. I baked the second layer the day before. If possible, I always recommend leaving freshly baked cakes for at least an hour in the fridge before slicing to avoid crumbling. This cake will have four layers. Another advantage of this recipe is that cakes turn out really moist but far from greasy or gummy uh, you can tell by the low amount of fat in this recipe for a light cream cheese frosting whip cold cream cheese with icing sugar make sure to scrape the sides to break all possible lumps add cocoa powder always sifted and beat it for a few minutes to reach smooth texture Set the bowl aside and whip some whipping cream and vanilla extract until soft peaks form. Simply mix two parts together for another minute. To frost the cake, make a thin layer of frosting. and then a thicker circle along the edges to hold the filling inside. Repeat with each layer and use leftovers to cover the sides and the top. It's like a thicker crumb coat, which will hold all the crumbs as well as soak the cake from the edges.
fixate it in a straight position using a pen, but cover the sides with a sedate film or simple parchment paper. Let your cake sit in the fridge for 4 hours or more before applying the final layer, and at least 8 hours in general before serving. I'm trying a new ganache recipe today, we'll see how that turns out. Smooth things up a little bit and put cake in a freezer while we're making ganache. I'm gonna need butter, chocolate chips, a little heavy cream, vanilla and icing sugar. I beat softened butter, sugar and vanilla just until incorporated. Melt chocolate chips and let them cool to slightly warmer than room temperature. I mix chocolate in and refrigerate for 5 to 10 minutes. And then I continue whipping for 2 more minutes and it's getting lighter in color and puffier. Finally pour heavy cream and just one more minute of mixing. Optionally darken the color. It is supposed to be used right away, which I'm doing right now. First impression, it's hard to work with if you're slower or not too experienced as a cake decorator because this ganache hardens really fast on a chilled cake. It's difficult to make it smooth and neat, honestly. Temperature difference makes color change here and there, and as I realized later, this ganache melts immediately if touched. Anyway, it was fun to try something new. I'll keep looking for the best tasting and the easiest way to cover cake. To add a bit of spark to my cake, I want to use golden luster dust, which I mix with alcohol to a paint consistency. Let your imagination create a design you want. Slicing is a part that I look forward to the most. Cake is packed with delicious cherries that make a perfect combination with chocolate. What could be better? Hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments below.